Hello people, it's Buddy702 here, and this is going to be an awkward one. Welcome to Smelt MC. And, well, it's been a long time since I've actually played Minecraft. And a long time since I've actually talked to myself like a nutty person. But here we are. And I thought, well, I have been online and checked out their factions not that long ago. But I thought we're going to go ahead and we're going to join in the survival it should should be open now anyway so this is smelt mc and this is well the owner one of the owners anyway is kerr 35 and well i used to play along with him quite some time ago in some of the other youtube videos that are on here it has been a while since i've done any of this and it's good to see you still around and good to see there's actually a wicked server that's gone up as well as the uh, Discord server and that, which is really well done. Really impressive to see. And congratulations on getting such a cool server and a great community by the looks of it starting up. So let's hop in to this lovely survival world. Here we go, people. We are just joining into survival for the first time. And I'm not exactly sure how all of this works, but we should figure it out as we go along. Oh, it's good to see there's quite a few players online there as well. Player ping. Hmm, hopefully my connection does get a little bit better. Okay, everyone, I've just been jumping around and looking at the spawn of such a lovely little angel there. I managed to, well, after the random teleportation, go out here and die pretty quickly with a level 5 sniper, or skeleton, which is interesting to see there's enchanted mobs in that. So I'm going to have to have another attempt to go out and have a look, but it's such a nice little spawn here. All cosy in that anyway, with all the lovely towers and that going up. Stuff that I could never possibly build in my lifetime. Probably could if I could do the practice, but yeah, not my type of thing. So I thought let's go ahead and random teleport out again and hopefully not lag away. And let's see if we're going to get into a better position this time here. Oops, we're out. That is looking good. And a massive tall birch forest. And all this terrain is all custom as well. Okay, that is pretty interesting there. I'm assuming, is that a custom village maybe? Or is it someone's build? I'm not exactly sure, but I'm just going to dig down first and get a couple bits of wood because you have to start off somewhere. And it's the first thing to do is collect some wood. Okay, so to start off, we're going to create ourselves a lovely... Oh, got some... What do those there do? Other players can build here to consider claiming the land. Okay, you can claim land. Stone, power, name, display name. Buddy, so to a kit newbie. Enchanting objects, that's interesting. So let's start off by crafting ourselves a lovely table. A crafting table and then go into here and create ourselves a boat and just get some I suppose we need to get some basic tools start it out first and not too complicated create some more sticks may as well convert all of those there over so start off by collecting the lovely basic objects there and or oh, achieve the stone age and let's just try and get some tools and some other bits and pieces up and going and hopefully that there works out in theory so just gone further up the hill here that's the villager there because we spawned in just down there before we did the random to rp and this looks like it is a normal traditional village which is quite good from what i could tell from down below yes there we go it's all sort of compacted into the hill here any bits and May as well take the saplings. May as well take the chest here. All wood stuff, which is always good. Got some wheat. Let's just grab some of those bits there. Just want to get a bit out of food here. Uh oh, zombie villager. Go away. No, uh -oh, don't lag me. Go away. Uh oh, there's another one there. Okay, I'm just going to lock myself in here. Okay, so after a while of searching, there's been some nice terrain here, finding some different coloured trees in that. I'd come across here and I was like, oh, 
a nice big plain open area which could be perfect for a place and just notice the path blocks here and as I, I really if there's a village here that will be perfect so villages are always handy to have especially with making all the farms and that but doesn't seem to be one <laughs> there is one it's just I wonder if it's below here maybe it's all up top some train might have just thrown it off a bit but if there's villages here this is a perfect spot that is promising that is promising that is promising we have got some villages up here and you'll see there's a lovely iron golem just there so this is a perfect place Please see, so didn't just die. So this is a nice spot here. I think it opens up into such a nice valley. My render distance is a bit low because it struggles to play or it's struggling to load the game due to the lovely computer. If we trap these villages here, I think we could probably start work on tidying this place up. And this would be an ideal location to build a possible base here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start tidying this place up and getting myself a bit organized since all I've done so far is accumulate junk, which is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I need to get used to playing this game again and hope you guys have been enjoying my dreadful commentating. Yeah, it is like that, but it's good because it makes me feel a little bit less nutty when I'm talking to a screen by myself. It makes the game a little more fun and entertaining I suppose. So let's go ahead and I'll see you guys very shortly. I don't know what this is. I'm just getting some iron. Let me get out of there. What? <laughs> How did you get in here in the mine? Oh no, I don't mean to jump back in there. No. No. Where the heck is... Why can't I place this stuff? <laughs> Let me run, run away. Just about to go down. Low one. God, that feels weird. Going down into the negatives when that's not my bedrock there. That just feels a bit cursed. But it's such a huge depth. Like that's a huge. Like, I've gone down just over a hundred blocks. I'm not sure if mine. Diamonds. If diamonds still generate this level, but especially if it's custom trained, it'll be interesting to see anyway. If I can get anything. Oh, lovely cave just down there. Or maybe not. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and continue mining and show you the rest of the update very shortly. Okay, everyone, now it is back to the base here, and that was just a little mining bit down there, and it seems like diamonds are. Definitely a lot more harder to find down at that level. And yeah, that was a lovely silverfish, which obviously spawn since we're up a lot higher now compared to what we compared to what you normally are. It's build up was what 186 or something like that last time. I should remember, but I can't really, but I know it's a lot more higher now. So yeah, this is what the place is looking like in behind me. Very noobish looking. But I'm seriously not gonna admit how long it's taken me just to do what's here. I have, however, managed to accumulate the villages, but I'll just show you a little, little wheat patch down here. Have got some stairways going up, some little random bits here. Another lot of um, carrots farms on top of the roof there. I've left the train sort of how it is. I have dug in away slightly. And I have got my little backdrops down to the mine shaft, which that is incredible how deep it goes down there. And we've got my lovely little house in here. I did have the effort to do the floor and got my little cheap windows for at the moment and have got roughly organized and I did manage to also get a lovely rear rate rear crate key that's the word and a spawner key as well when voting the last two days which was actually quite good and these are the ones from today down here which will go in the click shortly these blocks here still not a clue what they do but anyway, we've got our little sorted out system here. It's pretty rough in bits and pieces. And coming out, out here, we have got our lovely little sheep there. Our little 
poor Iron Golem who's getting hugged to death over there. And as we go down through here, it's a bit of a behind the scenes sort of look. We have got our lovely villager breeder here. And I'm breeding them up and sending them down this way here. I did have a collection of them off this way here where I was going to plan to build a lovely iron farm. But that did not go to plan. I was going to build one up just standing up here. But in the end this area ended up getting claimed. So oh well. That's what it is. I've got a collection of villages down there. So now I've got myself set up another iron farm. Which I have made sure to claim this time and hopefully it doesn't get raided or doesn't get cleared out but it should hopefully be working 63 yeah hopefully it's working i'm just gonna have to go check and see if the villagers are still alive up there hopefully they are the zombie villager is my little target guy up there so hopefully that's working Possibly. Got a lovely secure lot of villagers here. Hopefully no one steals them this time. Because I've definitely made sure it's all claimed. Which that is a little bit irritating. So what I'm planning to do so far. Or what I want to try and do is I'm dreadful at building as it is. But down here as you can see I've got a little area lit up. So hopefully it's not going to get claimed. But this looks like it'd be a perfect place just to build up some nice little city sort of towers and build farms in inside of them as well. Or somewhat farms. Hopefully they're not like too laggy in that there. As you can see I'm pretty dreadful at attacking in that there. But it has been quite interesting seeing... Oh! It has been quite interesting seeing these scoreboards and that here going up slowly and seeing the bars going along down here, which I'm still figuring out how things sort of work and watching out for creepers. It has been a bit handy that the um, keep inventory has been on, which I'll check that's correct. Because, yeah, I've died a few times, but it's interesting to see the scoreboard, which has been recently added as well yesterday or so. Which shows our elite kills, which is a uh, custom mods that killed us right at the start. And the deaths, which I've had a couple of those kill me, which one of them was a creeper, which they are nice and strong. So I'd like to eventually come through, hopefully next episode or so, if I'm going to do these or not next, we'll find out. Is level this place out and tidy it up a little bit. And then hopefully try and build some farms in that. Because it's quite a nice area. Surrounded by lovely hills and that. It opens up down there a bit more. So there's a crafting table down there. So yeah, we'll see if we're going to have space here to build or not. If not, no worries. It is what it is. So let's go ahead and let's go vote. Let's go do some voting in spawn. Okay, we're here at spawn. And I'm still trying to figure out how the MU guide works. Still a work in progress. And the Enchanter, which is all custom enchants out there, which, yeah. I was pretty dreadful at figuring that out. I ended up putting on axes and that, and they got destroyed pretty quickly. So here's a little simple voting room, and as you can see, it's... Let's get rid of that stick off of there. Left kick to preview. Oh, I just won that straight away. Left click. Don't use the right click. And that there just shows up all the items and that so I won quite a few every now and then as well which has helped out so let's go and see what we are going to get there go so managed to get a few things there wet sponge which is absolutely brilliant and some other bits there as well congratulations for me the rock oh I should have done the slash born for cur I'm assuming Anyway, so that's quite good. Let's go ahead and get ourselves the rear crate, which I'm not sure what you can get with these. Let's do the left click this time. And oh, some of these here would be nice and fancy. So let's go ahead and see what we can get. Some copper blocks, beautiful. Some lovely iron, which we've got a farm for that now, which that's alright, but that's pretty good. Some more iron blocks, beautiful. Probably breaks down to the same amount, doesn't it? I don't know. Two and a half stacks, that's pretty good. 
And, ooh, some diamonds. <laughs> that would be pretty handy for some gear. I'm pretty dreadful at getting those, and it's pretty, pretty dreadful mining at the bottom of the world now. Now let's see what the spawner crate does. Right click to open, left click to view. Pig spawner, sheep, cow, oh, so the general mobs, mushroom, rabbits, horse, ocelots, chicken, zombies. So you can pretty much make lots of farms with these. Slime, beautiful, especially when you're struggling to load. I don't know why you want a silverfish one. I suppose they're good for XP, but they're nasty little thick critters. And iron golem, which I've already got a farm for that would be handy having a spawner. So let's see what we will get. We got a pig spawner. Beautiful, we can make some roast pork. That should be nice and tasty. And that there is pretty handy. So I suppose we can make farms out of those there, which should be quite interesting. So we have to figure out how to work. Mob spawner types, pig. Okay. Anyway, so it's good that you can also go ahead on here and do like, open up the shops and that. So you're about to be easily make plenty of farms for most of these things here like the farms and food like sugar cane cactus farm which you can all do that there which would be quite cool to have nice towers full of those there so let's just pop up back to the lovely home and yeah got my little chicken cage here all rough and rustic way to live but hope you guys enjoyed watching this noobish content video I may be back again at some stage. We will have to see. It took me a while just to make this little area here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And thank you, Kerr, for setting up this lovely server. It's incredible seeing everyone joining. It's a bit quieter now than what it has been. But it's fantastic seeing the community grow. The Discord server is absolutely amazing. And well done on all of this here. And also the staff team as well. Kind of a good zoo about good staff as well. So thank you all for watching. People who actually do watch this type of stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Fam, fams, farms out of that there.